are here at uh, Grid Life South Carolina. Um, just walking to enter into the track here. Good number of people already. It's like nine o'clock. We have a little after nine because uh, events already started. Um, we got over there is the uh, Charlotte Cars and Coffee people. Uh, they have a concourse thing here. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I can't. <laughs> so I actually already went through registration because that line is going on forever. So I'm glad I uh, already went through that. But uh, let's actually go ahead and check things out. So the camping area was kind of the coolest thing because it's just sprawling and there's cool cars everywhere. Um, and it, it's just a, a weird mix that you don't really expect to see a track like this because it is like a festival. And then, you know, right next to there you have all the pits um, where people just kind of pulled up wherever it seemed like they could find. Uh, it, it's, it's a really weird setup and, and yeah, festival is kind of the best descriptor. So this is the uh, first actual racing that wasn't a uh, drift or rally that um, I actually ever went to watch. So to be honest, I was kind of a little lost in it, uh, everything was going on. Because um, I know there's like different classes at once and everything. But uh, fast cars, loud engines, good time. All right, so there is a weather delay. They're taking a break for an hour, just moving the lunch up ahead. Um, there's rain, lightning, wind for a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't last too long. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Well, it's raining a bit. After the uh, delay, uh, GLTC started back up and uh, there's still quite a few people watching. Even though, yeah, it's it's uh, it's coming down really hard. Really glad I brought the uh, jacket. Really glad I waterproofed my shoes. And really glad I brought several extra pairs of socks. Uh, whew, this is uh, this is interesting. Oh well, still would rather be here than uh, not. Funny, actually, kind of watch how it spin out and shoot. Uh, and actually, cars and questions. Look at that. is out, the ground is drying, I have new socks on, and uh, Drift is about to go out again. Now this time with uh, much better conditions. See everybody here. So nice. So now that uh, the weather is uh, cooperating and nice and sunny, let's uh, take a look at everything uh, here at Grid Life that isn't moving. Um, there's a car show area behind me, very uh, interesting.
got Toyo tires uh, behind me now. Uh, they have some time attack stuff and giving away lanyards. Then I have a uh, appreciation for NOS for the uh, free drink. Um, very nice now that the sun came out to have something cold. So, kudos, NOS. After that, we have some vendors. So, we have Advanced, Valvoline, part of uh, the MagnaFlow setup over here. Move over to 303, Stable. I know I'm zooming through here, but. Uh, it's crowded and I don't like uh, holding everyone up. Got Chase Bay's display. Now we can move over to uh, uh, tr the first track side area over by the pit entrance and exit. So you got cars lined up. Got some more vendors selling merch. It's only one of the areas to watch from. I didn't spend much time over here because all well, the rail's in the way. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, good lord. It's literally a 10 minute walk from spectator area to where I'm parked. I'm way too lazy for that. Out of the wind. Man, it is really windy, but dried things out real quick. I, I guess can thank the wind for that. Um, <laughs> uh, grid life is uh, still going strong. However, I am not. I got to uh, I gotta head back home. Um, I don't actually live very far away from here, so... Uh, yeah, it's about an hour drive for me, uh, and uh, yeah, still had fun, lots of fun. Um, I you may notice some uh, clothes changes from uh, from the beginning of the video, and yeah, I got soaked. Um, did pretty well through most of the storm, and like that last, I don't know, 15 minutes of the storm or something is when... Uh, when all of the waterproof layers finally gave up and and uh so my socks were soaked jacket was soaked luckily shirt was fine um yeah it just had to dry out shoot i even changed pants um anyway yeah i uh this was an experience um I'll be honest kind of wish i knew somebody here um but got to talk to a few interesting people and um yeah i uh I want to do something else like this again. Um, maybe I can get out to Hyperfest. That'd be awesome. Um, but I guess until uh, until next time, I'll leave you with this. Have a great day, and uh, see y'all later.